Hey, welcome to meetingplace.tv. My name is Tim and I'm coming to you from the nation of Brazil. You know, a lot of times in life we go through situations that are very difficult and it's easy for us, being human, to point the finger at one individual or at one situation or at one business or at a boss or in a relationship. It's easy for us to point the finger because we can literally see that person. But scripture tells us in Ephesians opposite. Here's what Ephesians 6 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood or what we can see. We wrestle against the rulers, authorities, cosmic powers, the darkness and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places or the spiritual realm. So when things begin to turn sideways, it's great to get a greater perspective. You know, scripture says this, it says that we're seated in heavenly places. In other words, we're also seated, our spirit in that spiritual realm. It's crucial to have a good mindset of a greater perspective when it comes to the spiritual realm. It goes on to say, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day, having done all to stand firm. And then it begins to list every part of the armor of God. I would specifically want to point out the shield of faith. The shield of faith is huge because when we talk about wrestling in the spirit, when we talk about not wrestling with flesh and blood, but the rulers, authorities, principalities in the spirit realm, we have to recognize where those come from. They come from the enemy. And scripture tells us that the enemy throws fiery darts and that those darts can be extinguished with the shield of faith. Now, what is a shield? A shield is something that we set out before us. That is something that is the first line of defense when it comes to our armor. And this shield being a barrier, being something that blocks, being something that keeps us safe, it blocks our vision, it blocks our head, it blocks our body. Whatever it needs to block, it can block because it is a shield. That's what it's made for. Now here it calls it a shield of faith. In other words, this shield that is blocking, protecting the attacks of the enemy is literally made up of our faith, our belief in things not seen, the substance of things hoped for, belief in things not yet seen. That shield is what protects us from those attacks. So a lot of times we'll, we'll rebuke the enemy and we'll say, you know, I cancel this assignment or Lord, I, 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 I see what's going on in the, in the big picture. But are we realizing that our faith is something that can extinguish those attacks. Our faith, the Bible says, the shield of faith extinguishes the fiery darts from the enemy. So I want to encourage you, think about that. Where is your faith level in conjunction with how, you're coming, how the enemy's coming against you? If you're in a place where you feel like you're always downtrodden, you're always in a bad spot, you're always going through hard times, where is your faith? Because I will tell you, if your faith can be built up, if you can encourage yourself in the faith, if you can get around people of like mind that can encourage you and build your faith, you will see that not everything is bad, not everything is negative, not everything is an attack from the enemy because those attacks will begin to become extinguished. And I want to encourage you, it's not all bad, it's not all going to be the end of the world. We just simply have to build our faith hold up that shield of faith so that when the enemy comes in like a flood, when the enemy throws those fiery darts, we can shield those fiery darts with our faith and faith alone. Faith in Jesus, faith in what he's called us to be, faith that we can stand on the promises of God, faith in the scriptures that we believe that the scripture is true. So we build our faith by reading that scripture, by surrounding ourselves by people of like mind, by standing firm, and believing and hoping and trusting in God regardless of what our surroundings look like. A lot of times we base what we believe off of what we see rather than what the scripture says. So let's reboot, let's shift and say, I'm going to believe what the word of God says. I'm going to believe scripture. I'm going to allow my faith to be built up so that I can do what God's called me to do so I can be who God's called me to be. And I will no longer let myself get distracted. I will no longer have a downtrodden heart and I will no longer fight with other people around me and I won't let flesh and blood distractions keep me from being who God's called me to be. Remember, we wrestle 
with the things of the spirit realm. What combats the spirit realm? Your faith in Jesus. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Listen to the Holy Spirit. We'll see you next time at meetingplace.tv. Are you feeling the Spirit of the Lord leading you to invest in the kingdom? We are honored that you would consider partnering with us to reach the world for Jesus. To donate to Meeting Place, simply follow the directions on the screen. Go to meetingplace.tv and click the Give tab or text GIVE to 786 504 7192. All donations to Meeting Place are tax deductible.